Welcome to our lecture online and in this video we're going to concentrate on understanding the potential energy stored in a loop that's turned inside a magnetic field. Technically speaking, we're trying to find the potential energy of a magnetic dipole. And to understand that, let's take a look at these various drawings right here. So imagine that we have a plane right there. We have a loop that is able to turn around in the plane. So here we have the current going into the board, this way coming out of the board. And so the loop is in this direction. It's perpendicular, so to speak, to the, um, to the plane of the board. Notice that the normal to the, to the loop is up, and that would also be the direction of the magnetic dipole moment, mu. Notice in this case, when we have the current flowing through the loop like this, we have a magnetic field coming straight up. We can see that the force over here, since the current goes into the board, we pour our fingers in the direction of the current, curl the fingers in the direction of the B field, the force is this way. Over here, we have the current coming out this way. You have to turn your fingers in the direction of the B field, thumb points in the direction of the force. So the force is outward like this. There's no torque at this point because you can see that the line of action of the two forces goes right to the point of rotation. So there's no moment arm. So there's no so there's, um, so there's no torque caused by that. Notice the angle between the B field, the magnetic field, and the magnetic dipole moment is zero degrees. That's the same as the angle between the loop and the direction of the plane. Now as we turn the loop here, you can see now that the angle begins to increase. We continue to turn the loop even more, begins to increase some more, and we continue to turn the loop until the loop is upside down, so to speak, and notice now that we've moved to an angle of 180 degrees. The energy stored in that has to do with the amount of work done to turn the loop. Notice that once you begin to turn the loop from this position into this position right here, now you can see that there's a torque caused that causes a force that tries to bring the loop back into its equilibrium point that is right there. So it takes effort and work to make the loop turn in this direction, therefore you're building up energy as you go around like that. If you continue to turn the loop this way, you continue to turn the loop, you can see that there's still a, a torque trying to make the loop turn in the opposite direction. So you can see that as you're making, as you're causing the, the loop to turn this way, it requires more and more work until finally you get to this stage right here, where again the torque in the loop is zero. So now you've stored the max amount of energy in the loop. By definition, the energy stored, which you use the letter U for that, is equal to the negative of the dot product between the magnetic dipole moment and the B field. And of course, we can calculate that to be mu times B times the cosine of the angle between them. Notice when the angle is zero degrees, then the cosine is a maximum value of one. And that means that the energy stored is the maximum negative value you can have, which is interesting that the definition is such that the, the energy stored at this point is equal to minus IAB the magnetic dipole moment of magnitude times the B field. Once we get to this point right here at the 90 degree angle, where we've already done quite a bit of work to get it there, now you can see that the cosine of 90 degrees is zero, so that means at this point the energy is zero, and then if we continue to turn the loop all, all the way upside down, now we reach the maximum potential energy value of the positive IAB. So let me write this in. So at this point we have the energy equal minus IAB, that's the maximum negative value, over here at a 45 degree angle, you know that the cosine of 45 degrees is 0.707, so U would be equal to minus 0 0.707 IAB, and over here we can say that U is equal to zero, because that's the cosine of 90 degrees. Here we can say that the energy is equal to the positive 0 0.707 times IAB, and here we can say that the total energy U is equal to IAB. So it's kind of interesting the way it's defined. If it was up to me, I would define the zero energy point here, and this would be twice IAB, but that's not the way they defined it. They defined this as a negative IAB, zero at this point, and positive IAB. So that the difference in energy between this state and this state is indeed twice IAB. So it comes out to the same thing. It's just a different reference point. So hopefully that clears out the concept of the energy stored in a magnetic dipole. And in the next video, I can actually show you how we calculate that value, how we can figure out how much energy it takes to work our way through a half a loop, a half a turn in a magnetic dipole like this.